such a great ambassador for the ASPCA, and she's such a great salesperson <laughs> in general, just for great causes, and that's why we love her. Um, she's just amazing, and it sort of caught fire with your generosity, which we so appreciate, and we will definitely use to help unfortunate horses across the country, and there are many. Most people are not aware of that, but there are a lot of horse welfare issues that need our help. And after Jill made the announcement that you wonderful people gave us $5,000, another person did, an anonymous donor, and then somebody else promised. $15,000 in one afternoon, just in less than an hour, and still, still going. And we're going to use that to help unfortunate horses, and we could not be more thrilled and more grateful for Jill's amazing work for animals and for La Jeans and London Jeweler for doing this amazing day for us. Which is the ASPCA color in the horse bit and our, belt, our little bands here. And really, when you think about it, so many horses don't live the life. When you think about what the situation is across the country, these are the most privileged animals in the world. But so many, thousands and thousands across the country, literally are starving, left on the side of the road. And they have the same heart and the same courage that these Hampton Classic winners do. They just are unfortunate circumstances, so that money is going to make a difference for them and hopefully give them a life that they so deserve. The ASPCA was founded 1866, 147 years ago, and it was founded to protect horses. Most people don't know that. So what better place to showcase what we do at this incredible horse show with our amazing ambassadors and companies like Longines who are all about elegance and luxury, but also heart and good messaging and good causes. And it's a great partnership. It's been a great afternoon, and I can't thank you enough. Thank you to the Hampton Classic, to Shanette and everybody here, and to Marty. You make it possible for us to have a voice here, and we are their voice, so thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we thank you for what you do, and we thank Mon Jean so much for your support of the ASPCA, and of course for partnering with us here at the Hampton Classic. You're our newest partner, and we just love having you with us. Thank you so much. Thank you all. My three, fa well, I'd say four, four favorite. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie Angeli, Jill Rappaport, Candy Udell. And Ruby Rappaport. And Ruby Rappaport. <laughs> this, is, this is an honor for you today. This is wonderful. And all the great work that you've, you've done. We're Aww. so thrilled to be here. Well, thank you so much. I could never have done it. First of all, I am so honored and thrilled from Longines. And my, she's like my partner in crime, Candy Udell from London Jewelers. This we woman, oh, we, we wake up. Candy. We wake up in the middle of the night going, oh, what's happening with those dogs in Alabama? I mean, this is my true soulmate, okay? And London Jewelers, the Udell family, you're here 24 months out of the year. They're 24 months out of the year? Yes. You guys are doing it every moment of the day to help the community. But today's event is so special. Now, I, I can't believe they're honoring me, but what really made it special is that Candy and I were able to honor the ASPCA. We turned a lovely lunch into an effort for them, and Valerie can tell you, we had a little surprise. Yeah, just, I'm standing here overwhelmed by the surprise, which was a donation to our equine welfare efforts from London Jeweler and Longines for $5,000, which will help so many rescued horses. Oh. And then and, another one just then, came in. Uh, Jill told us a private donation because of your generosity inspired someone to donate another $5,000. Wow. I, I mean, and then, <laughs> and then I have to show you our bracelets because yeah, we are, Jill and I designed a line of jewelry to benefit the ASPCA, the Horse and Quine Division, and we will be selling it all at London Jewelers, and the proceeds go to the ASPCA. Aww. Jill, how did you get into this? We all know your broadcasting career, yeah, for and years. we admire you for what, you, what you've done in, in that realm. But you love animals and horses and... My whole life. Well, you know, next month marks my 22-year anniversary on the Today Show. And the first 16 were spent on the red carpet as the entertainment reporter. And everybody thought this is the greatest job in the world. And it was, but it was a job. And then when my beloved Jack got osteosarcoma bone cancer, we chronicled his story on the Today Show. I got emails from all over the world. And on that day, I went to my boss and I said, stars don't need my help, animals do. And 
here I am doing a mission of my heart and I say this is not a job this is my oxygen so I feel I'm the lucky one and even though I have five rescue dogs Ruby's my the last one I just rescued I'm the one that's been rescued you know Ruby's stealing the show you realize that <laughs> unless Da Vinci was here too he then is we're, here. We're, here we're gonna, we're gonna do, get Da Vinci on and Candy how did you come into working with Jill and ASPCA. I, I met Jill mm, about two years ago and we became very good friends and we have a lot in common as Jill would say we are partners in crime and I do love animals with all my heart and soul and I would like people to be nice to animals and the ASPCA helps that and I would like to see the world be a kinder gentler place for animals. Wow, what an event. You brought all of these people together. Valerie's been with us for years here, bringing ASPCA to the consciousness of of our, our group here at the Hampton Classic. You must be so gratified today. I am, it's an honor and it's it, this is catching fire as we were hoping that it would as a sponsor of this beautiful show that gives us the platform to talk about critical animal welfare issues. Jill brings it all to life as our ambassador with messaging on adopting and rescuing from shelters, uh, horses, rescuing horses. And we do events here all week and the, the, the management of the Hampton Classic gives us a really nice opportunity to bring all of this to the public and they learn and they're inspired and then they they pay it forward they go and they do something and they instead of buying a dog as you always say they'll adopt and they'll report cruelty when they maybe didn't know how or know that they should and instead of buying horses that are going to their horses going to the slaughterhouse that are fabulous they're adopting horses at our event adoption. where Jill is the MC of of, yes. anim, of ASPCA adoption day on Monday this donation will do so much to help us with, help rescued animals and inspire more donations so that we can do this as an equine community we can all make a difference to the animals that aren't so lucky this horse show has beautiful horses here but behind the scenes as you say there are horses suffering horribly that need our help and this this is a serious message amazing congratulations Thank Jill you. we're so thrilled for you we have your book oh I know he's been there with me from the beginning. Did you see who's behind you? Check it out. Katie Kirk. Katie. Wow. Wow. And you, you hang out with Another an interesting... <laughs> well, well, we love Katie, but you're our star of today. And thank you for all the good work. Because of you, Ruby, and countless other Rubies, and Da Vinci's. we got to get Da Vinci on. He's in the wings waiting. And These the are the real stars, stars of yes, the day. Are. Thank are. you for all the good work Thank that you. all three Thank of you, you do. Thank Continued you so success. Much. Get to see you. Have a yeah. bite to Thank you. so great seeing you here at this event and Thank you. honoring your your good friend I know I was so happy you know I'm so proud of Jill and everything she's accomplished you know she really focused on stories about animals needy animals animal rights and she finds the most amazing moving stories and you know she's bringing attention to something that doesn't get much attention in in the national spotlight so I wanted to celebrate her accomplishments and really cheer her on today and the ASPCA is the beneficiary of this of this event. Hampton Classic, just a few words about Hampton Classic. What does this event mean to you? Well, I think it's it's such an exciting, wonderful event. I, first of all, I love things that happen every year because I don't know they're they're a way to kind of mark your life experiences, and it's just beautiful animals, accomplished riders beautiful people <laughs> for the most part. I mean, there's just, I love just people watching here. And, um, you know, the fact that, that people are coming together and either they're experts in the sport or want to learn more about the sport or just love to, to be spectators. So I think it attracts just a really um, exciting group of people. And I'm always happy to be here even just for a little bit. Well, you're so busy. You have your shows, you have all these projects going. Has it been a good summer for you? It's been a great summer. You know, I had a little time off. I got to travel. I went to Greece with my older daughter. 
Uh, I went to Aspen for the Ideas Festival. I went to Iceland. Um, I got to spend time with my younger daughter, who who is uh, going to be a senior in high school. So I'm going to be an empty nester soon. So it's been great. You know, summer is my favorite time of year. I have to be honest. I'm a little depressed. It's ending. I hate when that little rusty color comes on the hydrangeas oh. out here, and I'm like, darn, I can't believe it's over. But it just makes you appreciate it all the more and look forward to next summer. Well, you have a great fall season. Means a lot for you guys because yeah. shows and all the rest yeah, that you're doing. Yeah, you back to the back to the grind. Back to the grind. But yeah. thank you for being part of this event. Jill has always been supportive of Hampton Classic, of our broadcast. Well, she loves her broadcast. horses and, and loves riding. And so to have you here uh, means a lot for her and well, for all of us here at the Hampton. That's really Classic. what it's all about. When all is said and done, is is having great friends and supporting them. We're here at the Hampton Classic Horse Show, but the Hamptons International Film Festival is represented. This is its chairman, Stuart Maxuna, and Stuart, great event here at the Hampton Classic, Hamptons International Film Festival, near and dear to your heart, and we're going to be celebrating in October. Well, the Hampton International Film Festival does open on October 10th and runs through the 14th, which is Columbus Day weekend. We hope all of your viewers and all of you come here. and. You guys, the Shimizu Brothers, WVVH, have been supporters and participating in the film festival from its very beginning. It's to be our 21st year. And in case you don't know, we had 32 Oscar nominations last year, including the winning best film. We had best film the past five years in a row. So we want to bring that good luck and that good karma right here to the Hampton Classic. Wow. Because there's a lot of overlap between the Hampton Classic and the Hampton Film Festival. Well, the major overlap is the good works that you guys do. You're active in the community. A lot of what the Hamptons International Film Festival, what it's all about is giving to the community, yes. helping filmmakers, but also helping local events and charities that benefit from the uh, Hamptons International Film Festival. But if you want to see stars and if you want to see the greatest in motion pictures, also some, a lot, some stuff that's so, I'll say odd, but odd in a great way that you'd never see anywhere else. Uh, subject matters. It's the uh, Hamptons well, International we've had great Film films, Festival. Great films on conflict and resolution, but we've also had an incredible amount of world-class cinema that goes on to win Academy Awards. But I have a question for the Shimizu brothers here. Yes. I don't know how long you've been here in the Hamptons. Um, a number of years, not as long as you okay. have. Okay. So did you know the Hampton, you know, you've been to the chairman's reception at my house? Yes. In East Hampton? Yes. That is the site of where the Hampton Classic started. Is that, that right? That was the Dunalp and Dairy Farm. And those pastures on 27, where my house is, we were the original dairy farm, is where this horse show started, I think, more than 30 years ago. Well, we have footage oh. of that first Hampton Classic. Okay. Well, and at some point, I'm going to show, I'd love we to might, see that, yes. I might enter it into the Hamptons International yeah, Film very, Festival. Great. But the continued success, what you're doing, what the Hampton Classic does, is so important to not only our local community, but as you know, we're seeing throughout the tri state right. area here on WVVH. But you guys are doing it 12 months out of the year, and we uh, we really respect you for well, thank it. Thank you. And I, I, I really want to give a message to your viewers. I know they're lo local people. Many people don't realize that the Hampton Classic, the Hampton Film Festival, is a non for profit. A struggle, they're all struggling not for profit. They give money back to the community. It's nobody's getting rich. Nobody's, you know, it's really it's about community participation, which you guys certainly understand much about, and bringing art and culture and sports and a good time to the Hamptons. And it's Hamptons International, International Film, Film, Film Festival. Festival. And the website is Hamptons it's International Film Festival dot org. Maybe org. I got to look at my business. Correct. Right, but it's Hamptons International Film Festival dot org. Check it out. Buy your tickets. Early. and be part of this great event in October. We will be, we'll be uh, covering it for our Thank station you. as we always have. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's my honor to introduce to our viewers Juan Carlos Capelli of Longine. What a pleasure to have you here. Longine has become a significant sponsor 
of the Hampton Classic. Are you having fun? A lot of fun. We are very proud to be here in the Hampton today for the first time. And uh, I think so we have a lot of guests and uh, everybody is enjoying to be here today. Now, how is the Hampton Classic different? L Longines is involved in horse shows around the world, premier company and sponsorship of equestrian events. How is the Hampton Classic different from the events that you do in Europe and, and throughout the world? Oh. How about the competition is almost the same, but uh, we have a very uh, friendly atmosphere, a very uh, nice place. It's so huge. I was so surprised when I arrived to see six arena, different arena in the ground. It's so unusual. I should say it was an incredible moment. And uh, now it is a, a nice public. Uh, understand the sport. It is a real passionate of horses, and we can see the big difference in that. When you mention the difference, being a uh, horse show in the United States, it's a little bit different. You know, I know it, when you're in uh, Europe, you have royalty in one corner, and the other people in another corner. And there's, but you, in this room, you've got people who are billionaires. You've got people who work hard with animals and. And, and, and horses and dogs, you have everyone. Is, is, the, is that something that, uh, uh, that you see, that distinction from the other horse shows? No, I should say, what we have with Longines is we try to be elegant. And what is elegance is what we have inside. And uh, we share all the same passion. We love horses, we love animals. And uh, for that, we are all together. Could be billionaires or horse lovers or different public, but you share all the same passion. And the passion of Longines and the passion for quality and excellence. Quality, excellence, but tradition, elegance, and performance. Longines as a company has been in existence since 1830? 18, 1832, absolutely. 1832. Yes. And All in the same family, in the same... All business. in the same place. We, we are in a small village called Satimier, and from 1832 we are still in the same place. Well, we love the fact that this great company, Longines, an international company, has come to be part of this great Hampton Classic event, and we hope that you'll be part of this for, for years to come. For our viewers, you benefit from the fact of this. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Another great day of show jumping here at the Hampton Classic. As you can see, it's Longine Day, and this gentleman is wearing a sash, a very important sash, three horse jump off, and you really did it today. For your owners here at Stony Brook, this is very special. This is their home show, Richie. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I'm very happy to get a win in a task like this, such a big task, and a uh, great competitor. It's always nice to win here, but a uh, big competition like this means, means a lot. And for my sponsors to be here in Washington today, Great. That's what we love, being able to be able to win a class here for your sponsors, here today cheering you on. I know you've got your eyes set on tomorrow as well. We wish you the best of luck for the Longine uh, class today. It was a very, very special win for you. Big congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is what I hate about Sunday too. This is just when you only make SUVs for 65 years. I'm trying to. I'll make commercial.